SpaceX is currently building and launching thousands of Starlink satellites in order to create a robust satellite internet service that will allow for internet access virtually anywhere on Earth. And this network would be extremely useful for Tesla to utilize since their vehicles are ideally always connected to the internet. But has Tesla built the ability to connect to Starlink satellites into the cars already? Or do they plan to in the future? Welcome everyone, my name is Zach and I make videos about electric vehicles, so make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and want to see more. So I own a Model 3 here in the state of Colorado, and there have been numerous times that I've been out in the mountains hiking, camping, or road tripping, and have lost internet connectivity for long periods of time. And when you're used to this connectivity for satellite imagery, navigation, and music, it can be a bit unsettling. Tesla currently uses an LTE connection just like your smartphone. And there's really no practical way to cover everywhere on the planet with an LTE signal. And that's really the basis for why SpaceX is developing the Starlink internet network. When you have thousands of interconnected satellites in various orbital planes in low Earth orbit, you actually have the capability to cover anywhere. And that seems like a match made in heaven for Tesla and SpaceX. Tesla currently pays other cell providers for their bandwidth, so it would certainly be a win-win for them. They essentially bring that service in-house through SpaceX, and it provides them increased capability as a differentiator for potential buyers. And I know what you're thinking, and yes, you're right. Tesla and SpaceX are not the same company, so it's not technically bringing it in-house. But given their relationship, I think it's a really sweet deal for both companies. SpaceX has guaranteed users, and Tesla likely lowers their cost for connectivity. So we know that it would certainly be beneficial for Teslas to utilize Starlink for their connectivity, but is it even possible? Let's look at what we know so far about Starlink. Starlink satellites operate using the KA and KU frequency bands, which are frequencies between 12 and 40 gigahertz. Now an LTE connection uses vastly different frequencies, roughly between 700 and 2600 megahertz. So there would really be no way to use the LTE receiver built into current Teslas in order to receive or transmit a signal with a Starlink satellite. And that's not even including the fact that the transmitter and receiver in the car are very likely to be too low power to overcome the distance between the satellite and the car. One interesting thing that I found while researching this topic though is that there is speculation that Tesla has built in 5G capability for the newer production vehicles. Now 5G operates around 28 to 39 gigahertz, which is actually within the same frequency bands as Starlink satellites. So hypothetically, if the car can interface with a 5G signal, it's also likely able to be configured to interface with the Starlink satellites. But that said, there are a number of other signal characteristics that need to align for it to actually work. But then there's the problem related to transmitter and receiver power. In this regard, it's much easier to communicate with a cell tower that's only five miles away compared to a spacecraft that's hundreds of miles above you. So I think it's highly unlikely that the capability for current Tesla vehicles to connect directly with a Starlink satellite is already built in. But what about in the future? Tesla is known for building in capability that is not activated until later on, such as the interior camera first introduced in the Model 3. Have they added hardware that they can activate through an over-the-air update later on to allow for communicating directly with Starlink? And that would be kind of ironic, actually. An over-the-air update through a cell tower that activates the capability such that they don't have to use cell towers anymore. But unfortunately, we have not heard anything directly from Tesla on this topic, so all we can really do is step through what we know to form an educated opinion. Anyway, I think it's highly unlikely that the capability has been built in but not activated yet, based on the size of the phased array ground antennas being used for the Starlink beta testing. They look to be about three feet in diameter, and hiding one of those in a car would be a bit challenging. Now, it wouldn't surprise me if the antennas get smaller as Starlink progresses, but they're not going to be the size of a cell phone anytime soon. So that leads me to my next question. If today's Tesla vehicles won't be able to connect directly with Starlink, is there a chance for a future hardware upgrade or adapter that will allow for this connectivity? And this is where I think the answer is probably. I don't know if it will be something that Tesla does directly or not, but I think the odds are pretty good for this one. I mean, just because the car doesn't have the hardware built in doesn't mean that an elegant solution can't be created to solve the problem. The question is whether or not Tesla will develop this themselves 
and if not, if they will allow it from third parties. As a rough example, if a random company developed a mount that allows for mounting the Starlink antenna on the rear deck of your vehicle, would Tesla enable using one of the USB ports to provide the network connection to the car? Or could a Wi-Fi router be connected to the antenna and modem to wirelessly connect to the car? I think that ultimately, Tesla would have to do some form of software update to enable the feature, but I don't see why this couldn't be done. And for the capability that it would provide, I can see a lot of value in pursuing it, especially for the Cybertruck and Semi, since they're even more likely to be traveling in remote areas outside of typical connectivity. So in summary, I think we can all agree that using Starlink for the internet connection in a Tesla makes a lot of sense, and it would provide increased capability, but we don't really know Tesla's plans for whether or not they are even trying to add this feature. It's hard to imagine that current vehicles will be able to utilize Starlink with their current hardware, and we don't know whether or not Tesla will offer an add-on package that allows for this connectivity. However, knowing the Tesla community, I have no doubts that workarounds will be found to make it work regardless. But the big question is whether or not Tesla will support it. I, for one, really hope they do. Let me know down below if you have any comments or questions. I'm curious to hear what you all think about this idea and if you have any additional details. But that's all for today, so make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel. Regardless, thanks for watching and see you next time.